how to write a perfect answer is a question of serious concern for most of the UPSC aspirants. On this note, let us understand a very interesting topic in a very simplified manner that is nurturing right values so as to create smart citizens. So I am a mentor and guide. My name is Ritesh Kumar Singh, ex-government officer, specialist GS answer writing skills and essay concepts and a senior educator for civil service examination. Now, when you talk about smart people, but we also talk about smart cities, smart villages, smart nation. Smart cities and smart villages can definitely be created by adding opportunities and facilities there. But to sustain these, we require smart people. And who are the smart people? Who display right values. Now, when you talk about values, values are usually nurtured in the surroundings in which we grow up. Many times our values, our attitude and approach may be filled with enormous biases, hatred, suspicion, doubts and highly judgmental attitude towards others. So these are not the right values and these are required to be corrected. So let us see what is the way of nurturing right values so as to create smart people. <coughs> so there was a UPSC question. Yes, Even when you read this UPSC question, what it talks about? It talks about the same thing. Let's read the question. Our attitudes towards life, work, other people and society are generally shaped are generally shaped unconsciously by the social surroundings in which we grow up. So our initial learning, our initial values are shaped by the surroundings in which we grow up. Some of these unconsciously acquired attitudes and values are often undesirable. That these, these are not required yes, in the citizens of a modern, democratic and egalitarian society. Discuss such undesirable values present in today's educated Indians. So let us see what are the undesirable values present in today's Indians, not simply educated Indians, undesirable values present in our society. That means blind discrimination on the basis of caste, color, class, religion, gender, region, language, culture and all these discriminations ultimately are not the sign of smart people because smart people should be democratic, should be more inclusive, more participative, concerned about others, more empathetic, showing respect to others, hence displaying the best of values. So that means we have to convert the people who may not be having the right values into people reflecting right values. So let us start a journey of learning and shaping the people. So the method of building right values. So it is a combination of what behavior development and combination of what behavior modification. So behavior development means, means inculcating right values to, during the growing up years of a child. And hence, when the child grows up into a young adult, all those are firm, firmly now planted in the mind and that will be visible in the way of doing things. And in the case, the people who may not be displaying right values, they require interventions for correction of their behavior, behavior modification. So this means values can be nurtured through behavior development and behavior modification. So let us see the first behavior development part. <coughs> So for nurturing right values during the growing up years, the first major requirement is values based education. Now why we require values based education? Because the destiny of a nation is always shaped in its classrooms. And the destiny of a nation is always shaped by smart people. And which is the right place? Educational institutions. And even this has been highlighted by National Education Policy 2020, NEP 2020. And what this NEP 2020 states, which type of values are being focused in the policy? These are the ethics, human and constitution values. For example, empathy, that is concern for others, respect for others, cleanliness, courtesy means politeness. Democratic spirit means more inclusive and participative in approach. 
spirit of service for the community, for the society and the nation, respect for public property, scientific temper, that is logic and rationality, liberty of thought and expression, even supporting the liberty of thought and expression of others, responsibility, pluralism, accepting the diversity of this country and the diverse voices, equality of status and opportunity should be extended to all, justice, social, political and economic extended to all. All these values are required to be nurtured to create smart people. Now what are the essentials? How to plan this? The first essential is access to quality education. So education should not just be confined to just percentages, marks, degrees and certificates. It should be quality education. So what is the meaning of quality education? The meaning of quality education is to convert an empty mind into an open mind. Conversion of an empty mind into an open mind. So we all are born as empty minds. So the quality education should be converting an empty mind into an open minded person. And we all know open minded person has got more maturity in mind, displaying the best what logic, critical analysis and wisdom and values. Now how it should be delivered? It should be delivered on the basis of multidisciplinary and holistic education based approach. Rather than forcing the students only through towards certain subjects, we require a balanced approach. The balanced approach in delivering every aspect of the education curriculum expanding the entire range of sciences, social sciences, humanities, arts and sports that means humanities and activities. So what is actually the purpose of education is to create a holistic personality displaying both the productive skills as well as social skills. So social skills should be nurtured first along with productive skills. And the social skills are usually nurtured by social sciences, humanities, arts and sports. Now what should be the method of teaching? It should be based on what? Conceptual understanding rather than just rote learning or learning only for exams. Now further, more focus should be on activity based learning that is more involved learning. Why more involved learning is required? Because the text based teaching and just lectures may not be suitable for all types of students. So, but we can definitely engage most of the students through more involved learning. Hence, activities are required. Hence, giving rise to more creativity and critical thinking and should be applied both in schools and colleges. Now, when you talk about schools, 26 crore students are enrolled in schools, colleges, around 3 crore students. So we are seeing the student size of around 30 crores. If we properly planned values during the growing up years, definitely we can see right values and positive norms in the society in the coming future. So the first way of generating values is apply this in the school and college education system. But what about the people who are outside the educational institutions? So there should be another method. So let us talk about the people who are outside the educational institutions. <clears throat> Let's start with the quote first. The quote states that instructions ends in the school term. That is the basic teaching ends in the school term, but education ends only with life. That education means learning is a lifelong journey. So here education means awareness, self-learning, self-correction, So when the people become more aware and self-correct, yes, so they become educated, yes, throughout the entire journey of their life. That means there is no limit of learning. Hence, what is required? See, we cannot blame people when they respond in a very negative manner because the people respond in a manner on the basis of the information they possess. If the level of information is this, they will be behaving in a different manner. And if you upgrade the level of information into more positive information, at this level, they will start behaving in a different manner. So that means people can be upgraded, their actions can be upgraded by 
expanding their cognition and awareness so what is required so what is the requirement so requirement is sustained guidance through a system of information education and communication iec so we require a sustained system of information education and communication so why is it required <coughs> the purpose the purpose is to generate mass awareness now mass awareness for the leads to scientific temper which is one of the fundamental duty now scientific temper ultimately promotes critical analysis that is ability to identify what is right and what is wrong so analysis leads to distinguishing between the rights and wrongs and actually when you are able to distinguish between right and wrong this is the display of wisdom and hence promote right values so that means the right values can be inculcated through a system about sustained iec information education and communication now what should be the process we should be connecting with any individual i mean any individual irrespective of age educational qualification and location so irrespective of age educational qualification and location so iec methods to be proactively applied yes it should be coming from all corners positively applied having got higher level of what right and positive information and should be delivered in sustained and comprehensive manner now involvement of both state and non state actors It require the involvement of both state and non state actors so again it's a collaborative exercise now we need to also customize the tools iec tools as per the suitability of the audience audience are different everywhere the level of understanding is different everywhere the manner of understanding is different everywhere so we should be requiring different tools and customize them as per the requirement because what is our final target final target is to counter lack of information misinformation and fake information and hence can create a highly aware society an aware society display yes even better values so what is the requirement yes the requirement is a proper iec ecosystem is required to be established a comprehensive iec ecosystem is required to be established now what should be the uh, method the method should be should be based on 3m formula the 3m formula talks about that we should be creating right messages in a sustained manner we should be identifying different stakeholders as messengers to promote and percolate that message and it should be done on mission mode means sustained mode because our purpose is behavior modification so which are those iec tools which can be applied and connected with with any individual in the society so there are more than 20 such tools now by applying values based education in schools by applying iec methods for people beyond the education institutions what we can ultimately achieve yes more values in the society individually and collectively and hence creation of smart people now when you understand the entire dynamics of what values building in the society both in education institutions and outside that means you will having enough content on building the values in the society beyond just theory and jargons and that will be purely applied in nature which can be suitably applied in what your gs paper 4 including the case studies philosophical essays and essays on education so if you want to learn about the application of nurturing if you want to learn about nurturing values in a properly applied manner so that every grassroots information is connected that every individual is connected in the country then you are supposed to what connect with me with on what detailed lectures and here you should be part of a broad based program and that program is how to write perfect answers art of writing and you can watch this on youtube it's a comprehensive program for the students like you who want to improve their writing skills is a comprehensive program who want to remove their content deficit it's a combination of what 25 high impact lectures 
which will filling every possible content gap for your all GS4 papers as well as essay paper that means GS paper 1, 2, 3 and 4 in the essay paper enough content and that content will be purely applied practical with proper grass root connect government connect reflecting variety of writing confidence of writing when your content is ready then we will moving towards what the GS answer writing test and discussions followed by essay FLTs and discussions so do watch this video for more clarity and the link will be provided along with this video further to know about more about this program <coughs> to know more about this program so let us log into the website shieldis.in and also directly contact the inquiry numbers which are the landline number and the mobile numbers two mobile numbers are there and the mode of the program is hybrid in nature so if you are based in delhi then join for offline classes if you are shifting to delhi join for offline classes and if you are student anywhere in this country join online mode of class <coughs> and the program commences on what 20th of june 2022 so if you are really serious about improving your writing skills your content part you are supposed to connect with me asap as soon as possible and you will be able to what, learn the actual application of knowledge yes. and for that this thank you for watching the video and the next video will be on what social justice thank you for participation thank you